Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything is going to be okay. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your second living ship after you've done the original mission to get your first living ship. It's pretty simple, you just get another void egg, and of course you've got to have at least 3200 quicksilver to purchase it, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase another void egg and then you've just got to go out and pulse jet again like the first time you got your void egg and we should get a special encounter to get a new ship I'll take my current living ship out you, you don't have to have your living ship I think it works in any ship but I'm just in my my first living ship to show that I have one already. All right. Here we go, anomaly. Nice, that was fast. Happened immediately. All right, so we talked to this living ship. It should not be, I should not be another egg, another void. We have, we may hatch another, so I choose to hatch the egg. A set of coordinates are beamed to my navigation computer. Sweet. Looks like it's in this star system too. Let's go get it. I'm planning to have at least three living ships. So that way half of the possible ships I can have will be living ships. Alright, so we go to the fallen host. I've been having some trouble, I think there's some kind of bug when I first reach the atmosphere of a planet, I slow way down, and it takes a while for me to be able to move again. Even when I hit the boost button, it like blocks me for a little bit. But anyway, let's land and check this one out. Uh, landing sequence unavailable. I'm trying to land somewhere nearby. There we go. Alright, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, it looks really nice. Definitely a lot different than my current one. It's got kind of a protrusion on its head. I was kind of hoping for like a bigger horn type thing, but... It's okay. It looks like he's a bit more, well, it's hard to tell what color living ships are. I think they're reflective. This one looks kind of blue and purple, which are my channel colors, which is awesome. Uh, but it might just be because we're on a cold planet and it's reflecting the blue of the planet. Uh, but wow, this is like perfect for me. It's like blue and purple. It's awesome. And I think, I think the fins are more open than on my other ship. My other ship, when it's landed, the fins are pretty closed. Whereas that might be just how it looks like when it's... When it's at the crashed site. But I'm not sure. I hope it always looks like this. It always has its fins really open. Because it really looks really cool like that. And I definitely like the colors, if these colors will stay. So let's go ahead and take it. Um, I'm pretty sure in order to get different appearances, f oh no, oh no, it requires 10,000 nanites, ah oh, dang, well, this is good, I'm letting you know that it requires 10,000 nanites, I didn't even know that, how many nanites do I have right now, I have 6,000, I have a way that I could get nanites really quick, 
Um, looks like this will stay here. So we'll be right, we'll go get the nanites really quickly. I have several ways that I could get some nanites real quick. We will go to the space station and call my freighter. Oh, I already, ha yeah, my freighter's already here. But yeah, I definitely want that ship. It, it looks awesome. It's got my channel colors and probably has um, the fins open up more and kind of a protrusion on its head. So it looks a lot cooler than my current ship. I'm not getting rid of this ship, but that'll be another living ship that I have. Okay, so I need to, I'm need. i going to go to my capital ship. As luck would have it, I have a bunch of living ship upgrades saved up that I was saving for this ship. But it looks like since I need 10,000 nanites real quick, I may have to sell some of them or maybe even all of them. And I'll just get more living ship upgrades later to make up for it have to make some room for all the upgrades I have. Nobody told me it took 10,000 nanites. If I'd known, I would have prepared ahead of time, but this is kind of good. It's showing you what you have to do in order to do this. So not only do you need 3200 Quicksilver, you also need 10,000 Nanites. A bit of a pain, but at least you don't have to do that whole mission over again. That would be a real pain to have to wait four or five days to get another ship, another living ship. All right, so I'm going to go to my storage over here. The other thing I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and scrap my explorer ship. So luckily I have a bunch of upgrades there. Hopefully this will be enough. I need 4,000 nanites. I guess we'll see if I'm able to get it. Okay, I'm gonna take my, make sure there's nothing in here I need. Take my Explorer that I've been thinking of scrapping. I'll go ahead and scrap it. And get upgrades from it, because it's S rank, because I upgraded it. So I should get some more upgrades to sell for Nanites. Okay, let's go ahead and s dismantle it. So we get everything from it. put everything in my exosuit and then we'll scrap this ship
All right, claim scrap. Wait, I need to make sure I have enough room. Yo, yeah, I could have lost items there. Now let's go ahead and sell some of these upgrades. Ooh, good. So the S rank ones give almost a thousand, so I probably will be able to do this. But for now, I'm just going to sell the cheaper ones. That's weird. I've got two of them, and it's only just... Oh, okay, so that was the price of, of two of them. Oh, okay, I get it now. So they were they were stacked. Okay. I want to make sure I don't lose any items. I'm going to sell some more. Well, let's just put some of this in here. That should be enough room for one ship. All right. Let's see what I got. Ooh, nice. Got several S rank. Let's see if I can... Oh man, probably won't be able to get enough nanites with this. Go ahead and sell everything. Oh! Dang, we're so close! Okay, I'm gonna buy one ship and scrap it, and that should give me enough. Dang, that's so close. Don't think wait, there was a ship here? That's that's my that's my that's one of my ships. I didn't know there was a ship in here. We'll wait for a ship to fly in, I'll scrap it, and that will give me enough. Hopefully my freighter's not messing it up so ships don't fly in here. Sometimes that happens. I'm gonna go into my capital ship. Yeah, it looks like they're flying around my capital ship. Whoa! So I will go in here see if... Yeah, there's a ship in there. They just flew out though. Dang it, they probably all flew out to make room for me. Oh well. Dang it, come on. Here we go, yeah. Grab this ship, whatever it's worth. Whatever it is. Actually, what is this? This is a C rank, which you probably get. Dang, there's only C ranks. Oh well, let's. Uh, make an offer on the ship. And I will buy. Let's go ahead and buy both of these to make sure. Dang it, it's leaving. Did anything else fly in? Okay, well, hopefully... Let's switch back to my other living ship. Hopefully... Oh, what am I thinking? I need to be in the ship that I just bought. Duh.
I'm also showing you a way to make Minionites really quick. Let's see. Oh! Oh my gosh! An S rank uh, uh, exotic ship. Well, let's get this. That'll definitely be give me enough Nanites to do it. Okay, make an offer on the ship. Pretty sure I have room for another ship. So we will buy. All right, let's go scrap this one. Oh man, this one is so cool looking. I almost wish I didn't have to scrap it. I could switch it for my other exotic ship, but nah. We gotta get this done. <laughs> that was really lucky that an exotic ship flew in right when I really needed nanites. Clean scrap. Yes, got S rank upgrades for an S rank ship. So I can sell those. Now we got the nanites we need. All right. Oh, and here's this ship. Uh, I think I'll just, yeah, I'll just go take this ship and exchange it for the living ship. Because I don't want to keep this ship. Alright, now we go get my living ship. It's a shame I had to sell all my living ship upgrades that I had saved up, but it's okay. I'll get more. I'll be getting plenty in my um, live stream series I've been doing about pulsing around in space. I get lots of living ship upgrades doing that, so. Anomaly. Oh, it's another uh, hyperspace navigation system. So those are the coordinates for this star system. We found out that these things <clears throat> just give you the coordinates for your current star system. But anyway. Down we go. It's pretty cool that this is the Starbirth mission. You'd get it again. I took aboard an A, got a space anomaly. Since then a strange consciousness of mine I cannot fathom has impregnated itself within my starship. It seeks a host, a fusion of life and machine, so that it may have existence beyond the echoes. Imprint upon the host, the vessel may choose to accompany you. Cool. Alright. Let's end this. Hopefully it still appears the same. It would be awful if it changed appearance for some reason. I don't think so. I think there's always one... one appearance for a specific ship per star system. So as I was saying, I think, right before I found out that I needed 10,000 nanites, was that each star system has a different ship appearance. So if you don't like what you should do before you do all this um, that I just did, you should make, go to a go to a planet, build a save point, and make a manual save, and then buy the egg, go to the ship. And if you don't like the appearance of the ship, then reload your manual save. You need to do that, otherwise, if you don't have a manual save, a recent manual save, you get an auto save when you leave your ship. 
but you should make a manual save and then if you don't like the appearance of the living ship you get you can reload the manual save go to a different star system get the egg again buy the egg um, and and hope for a different appearance but I really like the appearance of this one so I'm gonna stick with it so yeah we are replicated this is new behavior reproduction possible greater synthesis possible confirm it traveler so confirm synthesis synthesis 10,000 nanites actually it looks like there's an option to reject the being so you may not have to use a manual save you may be able to reject it and then warp to another star system and pulse and go ahead and get a different living living ship I'm not sure you can try that if you want but to be safe definitely make a manual save before you buy the egg so it doesn't get messed up it is done it is alive wait oh darn I don't think it yeah I didn't it didn't replace my uh, oh I don't think I own it yet yeah I still don't own it okay sweet wow it's got really big tech and not very big storage but oh well um, I'm going to compare and we are going to swap ship so we'll get rid of this other fighter that I bought there we go we'll just leave that fighter here sweet so I got my second living ship I'm gonna go ahead and name it my first one was named Skylar I like to pretend that these are my children Skylar is a boy he's my first kid this is going to be Chelsea and just a preview my third living ship is going to be called Lando do you get it Skylar Chelsea land sky sea and land so <laughs> here's Chelsea I got my new living ship and that is how to get a your second living ship you gotta make sure you have 3200 Quicksilver and 10,000 nanites ready before you do it so anyway I have been Mac Thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything's going to be okay.